Hi, today we're going to uh, convert numbers from floating point to their uh, equivalent in uh, base 10, so denary. So from, from uh, we're going to convert from floating point to denary. Remember that floating remember the floating point is uh, a similar way to writing uh, numbers than scientific uh, than what we use in scientific form. So in scientific form, for example, we use 2.356 times 10, which is the base of our normal numbers, to the power of 2, or uh, and that uh, means add to zeros, and or 1.393 times 10 to the power of minus 3. This could be negative. Okay, so, uh, and the negative number means divide by uh, those numbers of zeros. So, this is what we call the mantisa, And this is what we call the exponent. In base, uh, in binary uh, terms, in base two, we would have the same thing. We could have uh, two point one three times ten to uh, times two to the power of two, or two to the power of minus two. Okay, so that this is what we're going to have now. We're going to use uh, for this worked example, several exam uh, several exams from uh, Cambridge's computer science code 9608, uh, summer of 2021, papers 3.1 and 3.2, okay? So, question says, we have 12 bits for the mantisa, 4 bits for the exponent, and 2's complement form for both mantisa and exponent, okay? So, remember that we're going to be able to represent negative and positive numbers, okay? Um... Number A, let's look at this number. So we have it here. When we have floating point, it means that the first bit is uh, is our, uh, our uh, sign bit. So it really means that number, this is A, this is B. So it means that our uh, Manti sign A is negative are an, an armantisa in b is positive okay zero is positive or one is negative and uh, in our exponent our exponent is positive and this exponent is negative okay so if we have them in two's complement any number that is negative we're going to uh, convert it to uh, the positive equivalent and we already know that it's negative so uh, I recommend you to watch our um, our video for the two's complement. The fastest way to do this is to find the first, start from the right and first, find the first one. Uh, keep all the numbers until the first one on the right. So that would be this. And then change this, then all the rest from zeros to ones and ones to zeros. So that one would be, so this would be minus, and this is the, the number. And the mantis says it's positive, we keep it like that, okay? In this case, as it's positive, we don't have to do the twos. The twos complement would be the same one, same value. And here we do the same thing. We keep the first uh, one on the right and then change everything from zeros to one, okay? That's the first thing we that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to uh, see which, which uh, mantises and which exponents are positive. If they're negative, find the twos complement. Okay, now let's find our equivalent in denary. Uh, this means that our um, our uh, in, when we're doing floating point, this is our decimal point, and this is our decimal point here. Okay, and now we're going to find how many how mo uh, uh, if we're going to have to move it to the right or to the left depending on our exponent because we're going to have two to the, two to the power of our exponent. We're going to find how much that x is and see how many. If it's positive, then we have to move move it to the right, the, the, the decimal point. And if it's negative, we'll have to move the decimal point to the left. Okay? Um, our exponent here is positive. This is um, 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, to the power of 1, which is 2, and that's just 
2 to the power of 2, which is 4, and 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. Uh, so we have the, the denary value of our exponent is plus 2. Okay? So we, uh, we have to move our decimal point to, po uh, to uh, uh, positions to the right, so that we have 1 and 2. So our final value is going to be 0, 1, 0, point, dot, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? So uh, this is our value without the exponent. We've already applied the exponent here to move our, um, well, more correctly, we've moved would apply the exponent here and uh, to move our uh, to find our final value um, so again we we want to know how much this is in in denary so we go this is 2 to the power of 1 which is 1 2 to the power of 0 which is 1 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 okay so our final value is plus uh, oh, sorry remember we had here and negative so our final value is going to be minus 2 okay so a equals minus 2 again I repeat I find that the matisse has negative because it's got a 1 so I convert it uh, to uh, the positive value knowing that I have a minus sign there I find the exponent to see how many uh, positions I have to move uh, and uh, the, the decimal point and to which side that's plus 2, so 2 positions to the right, and I find the uh, decimal equivalent of that number. Okay, so now we do the same thing with this. We, we had seen that the mantisa was positive, the exponent was negative. Um, this is our decimal point. The exponent is 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, so this is our uh, uh, our. Ex our Exponent is minus 1, so we have to move this one position to the left. So we'll move the decimal point here. And our final number is going to be 0 0.0111000000000. We have to find what our um, decimal, our denary, our decimal number uh, value of that is. Uh, remember that when we have in... Um, in floating point, uh, our numbers, our positions. Okay, I'll do it this way. If this is our decimal point, this position to the left is 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, etc. To the right, we have 1 divided by 2 to the power of 1, which is 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth. 1 16th, etc. So uh, in the denominator, we have 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, etc. Okay? So, um, having seen that, this means that we have a 1 in the... So we have... Let's look at positions here. This is 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and 1 16th. So... Our denary value is going to be uh, 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus 1 sixteenth, which is um, 4, 4 sixteenth plus 2 plus 1, so 7 sixteenths. It was positive, so we have plus 7 sixteenths, which is the same as. 0 0.4375 and this is a b value okay so this is c and this is d okay we'll follow the same procedure that's positive okay so that's this is our value with a decimal point there that's negative so we're going to find the value doing the complement so I keep that and then I'll change this okay so that's going to be minus one okay um, as it's minus one 
we're going to move the decimal point once to the uh, left so we have 0 0.0.01100 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay and what value is this well this value is we have here a half a fourth and an eighth so we have one half plus one eighth which is two eighths three eighths okay so c equals three eighths it was positive so that's perfect okay and now in this case um exponent is is positive so i'll leave it like that uh it's one two four eight so this is plus four the exponent um this is negative okay so we're going to find uh the two's complement we know it's negative and we're going to do uh keep this and then change all this this is our uh our decimal point we've got to move it four points to the as it's positive to the right one two three four so our final value is going to be zero zero one zero zero dot zero 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 one two three four five six seven three four five six seven okay so what's the denary value of this this is to do a power of c which is one two four okay so that's four and as it was negative minus okay so d equals minus four okay as you see we can represent positive uh, numbers uh positive decimals uh, uh other decimals negative numbers including negative decimals there's no problem so floating point uh, is a very is very easy to convert to denary